Hello, hello, hello. How's it going, people? Welcome back. Sorry for e. the long-ass hiatus. E. <laughs> <laughs> we all had lives yeah, to live. All, yeah, with TwitchCon fucked all of us. It really did. It really did. And then, I forget what happened last week. Were you, someone was sick. Eric got sick again because he has... That's no right. Immunity. Eric was lazy! It's true. <laughs> so it was. I said I got sick, but I was just climbing off everyone's mothers! Oh! oh! You offend me. Get off the show. Uh, <laughs> so, yeah, off sorry about stuff. that. But we're back. We're here. We, we, didn't, we didn't fuck off entirely. No. <laughs> but one day we will. With one notable difference. <laughs> one, Tom one day Williams, we're going to go out for ice back. cream and then never come back. Oh. <laughs> like Thelma and Louise. Ten years. Can I, can I come back and have ice cream? <laughs> no. You hate it. Oh my god. So, <laughs> what happened last time? Yeah, Dave, you want to catch in, everybody Dave? up? <laughs> oh, okay. It's my job, is it? Uh, yeah, you're the note taker. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so last time on Cyberpunks, our fearless heroes decided it'd be a good idea to invade the privacy of a man's home and revel through his shit. Because why not? When they did that, a man, aka the bodyguard, showed up. I was like, uh-uh. But then you guys were like, uh-huh. And then you killed him. <laughs> it was really good. Uh, fucking you did a super good, good job of it, too. <laughs> uh-huh. And then we killed I him. I believe that everyone's <laughs> up to date and briefed now. You had exactly uh, one Want turn, this. and then you murdered uh, the T-1000. It was really good. You did a good job. Um, awesome fight. Yeah, no, it was a good fight. You, uh, you let... Let me reiterate what you learned in case you forgot. The fact that none Guys. of us were supposed to survive that. Yeah, uh, <laughs> ambushes work really well. Keep doing them, okay? Great, oh, that's the you lesson. You at it too. You were like, <laughs> fucking should get behind that door. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, what else? Uh, the guy escaped, um, but you did learn a few things about him. Um, I honestly- What did we learn, Dave? That's probably the part where I, I fall down in this uh, particular thing. Oh, you found out that he has a mistress. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. We got those, like, sexy yeah. photos. And you got That's those sexy right. photos. And you decided that a good way to find out where he might be going uh, is to uh, question the mistress in question. And what ended the result, what, what was the end result of that was you made a gang affiliation with them. In order to get them more muscle to protect their night walkers. Mm -hmm. so good job. That was excellent. Uh, meanwhile. Pretty sweet deal. Uh, now, we, now we got access to hookers whenever we want. Yeah. Um, you get then. Flow like to wine. <laughs> <laughs> Next character, uh, aka uh, Dresden Wrecker, uh, then proceeded to fuck up his personal life by uh, that was screwing up. That, wasn't that? No, I think yeah. that, was, that was like how we. Ended the yeah how the he ended episode. on the on the big cliffhanger was uh, you managed to uh, destroy the relationship of your only friend or one of your best friends. Okay, it's, I wouldn't it's say it's your only destroyed, friend. Destroyed. Okay, we've been through things like this before, <laughs> and we always come back to each other. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so so Nick uh, uh, forcefully drugged his best friend. No. Really good. Um, and what else? Oh yeah. Um. Bike Man, aka uh, Wes Weldon? Shel Sheldon. I can't Don't forget. remember my name. <laughs> Get into roll 20. You got mine in yeah. one try this time, though, so. Weldon, Sheldon, Sherpy, McCurpy uh, decided that he would work on expanding his robot, aka Bandit, um, by attaching rotor blades to it so it could fly around and be an actual drone rather than... I'm breaking things productively. <laughs> yeah. Um, God, his does... fucking name was Bandit. <laughs> yeah, he has uh, in his possession a lot of tools. Uh, did you write down exactly what you needed to do in order to pass that? Because I remember there were some rolls that you guys needed to make. But me write things? <laughs> you gotta take notes? What is this, homework? Come on what? now. What is this, fucking high school? Well, I'm, I'm out of here. I'm, back in I'm school blowing this sudden. pop stand. You fucking teach what, what, what is What is this, like, real life? Yes, guys, it's real kind life. Of. 
It is real life, Dave. Uh -huh. Take it seriously. <laughs> I will. I will. Uh, and uh, yeah, uh, Eric, um, aka Preston Mayflower. Uh, his job is uh, slowly coming around him. Um, if you remember correctly, he was coming sort of him or they're, they're coming on him. Well, a little of both. Uh, he he sort of gave the the company a great idea to sort of circumnavigate his role for the most part. So awesome. Uh, he's going to do everything in his power to either try and keep his job or, uh, I don't know, like maybe try and take over the company or something like that. I don't know. It's completely up to you how you want to handle that. Um, so, this you got options. Company. You got options, yeah. <laughs> Let's start a war. A nuclear war. A nuclear war at the, at the what bar? The gay bar. Uh, Let's start a oh, chain of affordable family restaurants. Yeah, nice. I like it. <laughs> well, affordable in this time we'll and space it. would be like awful. We'll call it Cyber Sizzler. <laughs> yeah, invent the sneeze guard and maybe people will, might start coming back. They're already <laughs> did they not, did they not have sneeze guards in the 80s? I, like I don't fucking know. Yeah, they probably did, but not in the future. And this is, no, I feel and like in the future 80s, it's like yeah. lasers. It's all yeah, the lasers. lasers. Yeah, the lasers it's evaporate. Your, your, whatever you, whenever you sneeze, it just like it just evaporates the fucking yeah. sneeze yep. juices. Before uh, it just the I believe that. And that's why the don't salad get too is close very to the sneeze evaporator. <laughs> yeah. Lean in with your face, and face got burnt off. So yeah, it's true. Uh, yeah, yeah, and um, I, I mean that's pretty much all I can remember. If you guys have any else, anything else you can remember, I mean, let me know. But I feel like that's pretty much it. You well, are still on the hunt. Trying to get that guy, right? We're still yeah, he's still trying guy. to get the guy. Um, so he's he's around and he has things. I've got some notes here about that. Um. He doesn't have a bodyguard anymore, that's for sure. Fucking idiot. Goddamn sure. Well, I mean, like, there is a possibility that he can't get another because you did recover the fact that he was a a purchased bodyguard as an AKA rent a cop sort of style bodyguard. Right, right. Um, so there might be a good I'll chance kill, that... I'll kill his next one, too. rent a cops are way more badass in the future. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, this is a private security, man. Hell yeah, of course, absolutely. Cops like, wish like they King were rent a cops. But, you know, with self-respect. <laughs> yeah. Anything, I don't even know if I'd call it a rent a cop. I'd call it like a like like a Blackwater type company. Yeah, I mean the way that I was PMC. With it's probably closer to a PMC shit. than a rent a cop, but yeah, yeah. Um, PMC is paramilitary corporation for those that don't know. Or if you played Metal Gear, that's true. Or if you played Metal Gear, mm. it's not rent a cop. Um, it's Lisa. So, <laughs> yeah, because each corporation has like their own. Anyway, um, so we start off. A day later, um, you guys all meet up at uh, your local watering hole. Uh, what do you remember the name of it? It was Frank's uh, place. Frankie. Frank's place. Yeah. Frankie's place. Yeah. Uh, what do you? What has everyone been doing over the past couple of hours? I've been calling BT and leaving. They just just like like messages. I'm leaving a million <laughs> voice messages. Like, come on, BT. We've been through this. I'm sorry. I abused your trust. And uh, made you feel uncomfortable. I know. I, I, I just. I was. I'm under. I'm under a lot of stress here. Okay. Like, got like a million things I got to do, and I got to keep up my day job of selling drugs. Mm -hmm. You understand? Call me back, please. Seriously. Okay. Uh, why don't you give me something? A roll here to see if you can do something. Okay. About this. Uh, let me take a look at your sheet here, and let me see what oh, you can. I was like, well, I'm missing something on my browser, my sheet, my fucking yeah, sheet. sheet. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know exactly um, what the hell I'm doing? So let's let's get a persuasion slash fast talk thing going on here. So yours is roll me a one d ten plus ten. We'll see what type of roll you get. Come on, baby. Ha! <laughs> yeah, that's pretty low. Um, God damn it. Aww. Aww. Fuck you, fool. Okay. Fly. Um. So she she does call you back. Um, uh, do you take do you pick up? Of course, yeah, I pick it up like right away, second ring. Okay. I don't want to seem too eager, you know. <laughs> On the third ring. <laughs> <laughs> uh, all right. So she's like, "Hey, so you really called me a lot." <laughs> um, of course I did. We're friends. Yeah, we should definitely meet up and have a chat about this because I'm still pissed at you. It's real fucking dumb what you did. 
Really fucking I dumb. I know. I agree. It was dumb. I apologize. It, it was in the heat of the moment. You were really fucked up. I was trying to get you unfucked up, but then I fucked up by getting you a little bit more fucked up than you should have been. That seems logical. Sounds like something you would do. It's a whole lot of fucking. Well, I'm not going to do it ever again. I promise you that. All right. Uh, yeah. Listen, I need to make a lot of money really quick right now. Uh, <laughs> some shit went down. And it's pretty much the only reason I'm calling you because, you know what, you're still a piece of shit. But I, you're the only one I know that I can turn to to actually help me make money right now. So I'm a useful piece of shit. We got, we, we got, we got that out in the open. All right. <laughs> um, well, what, what, what happened? Listen, the, my, my old Nomad crew came back and they just, I don't know, they brought back with them old, old wounds, you know, just too much back history there and Georgie's back in town, you know, I, he said I owed him still. And it, the truth of the matter is I still do. So, I really need you to, I don't know, tell that fucking Preston idiot and get him here and we need to go after a big fish or something. I need to make money, like, real quick. Okay. Well, we, uh, I don't know if you know this, but we broke into that whale's house. Oh? He killed his bodyguard. He got away, but we got some dirt on him. And we're, we're, we're trying to, we're trying to, basically, we're just trying to blackmail the shit out of him so we can get those organs back. It's a big paycheck. And I can, I can try to talk to, talk to Preston about giving you a little, getting you a little bit more if, if you want to come down and help us out. All right. Uh, shit. I'll, I guess I'll see your Frankies then. Cool. I'll we'll have a drink waiting for you. Unless you don't want a drink, then I won't. <laughs> I think I'll be buying my own drink for a while. Okay. okay. Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay. <laughs> Relax. <laughs> All right, I hang up. Yeah. All right. Uh, so she'll be there within the hour. Is there anything you other two want to do? I believe the the actual uh, bike man, uh, if I remember correctly, you you had to What's do. What's his another, name? It was uh, Weldon Sharp. Not allowed to look in reference. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, he is the. He actually is allowed to look. Yeah. Not bitch. right then. No, oh, I can't. Not, so, when, not um, unless I say so. Uh, so, if I remember correctly, and I, I'm probably remembering incorrectly here, but because no one wrote any of this shit down, which is really annoying. But anyway, um, <laughs> so we have uh, another, a couple of rolls we need to make for your behalf in order to give you an upgraded drone here. Um, why don't you roll me... Um, do you remember what role you were making in order to craft stuff? It was jury rig, right? Yeah. So why don't you roll me one d ten plus seven, and you need to get over a fifteen twice. Okay, in a row. How and I'll let you do four. Rolling? I'll let I'll let you do right. four rolls. Um, all right. There's one. Okay. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh shit. All right. There you go. Um, You're perfect, Bikeman. <laughs> Big man. I um, man. Man. need for Big rolls. man. Um. So. While all this shit's going on, you know, you're tinkering away. What, what? How do you make a bandit look like he has propellers? Like, is it something that tucks away or is it something that's always there? Like, oh, yeah, it tucks away for sure. Look at the bulky propellers going yeah. all over the place. What if, you know, we go to a rev fancy restaurant, kind of propellers dangling all over. <laughs> be unsightly. Uh, but it would be. We'd be you asked out. to leave. You'd be asked to leave. So you're drunk and have propellers here. Yeah. Um, <laughs> we have a strict. Is that a propeller drone? Propeller code. Uh -huh. So this. Uh, so just so you know, uh, going forward, um, pilot uh, uh, gyro is what you need in order to uh, fly it, mm -hmm. and pilot RC is what you need to drive it. Dear Lord. Yeah. Uh, but you have you have it, the gyro is times three, so um, as long as you put one point into it, you'll be able to fly it. Um, because I ate all those sandwiches from that Italian place, my gyro <laughs> is wicked high. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yeah, you actually have ten open IP right now, so if you wanted to put 
one point into that, you'd be out of fly your uh, little helicopter. I'm never going to be able to shoot anything accurately because I have to put points into all this other stuff. <laughs> yeah, <gasps> welcome to role-playing games. I will like do every every combat scenario. We'll do what we did last time and just like fucking edge a guy into a doorway, and then we'll just surround him. <laughs> we just edge a guy. We just if I can yeah, stab him in the back, and then I'll shoot him in the face. Yep, only if I can put, battle plan. Only if I can put razor edges on the propeller blades. Then Wait, remember, they can like drive it into people's faces. <laughs> your, your bandit has the um the it snake can, arm that snake arm. That's right. Out of people. I can I can take off my bomb finger and give it to him, and he can drop it on places. Ooh. <laughs> there you go. True. We do an yeah. aerial an aerial destruction. Yeah, I like it. That's not I, bad. They idea. can carry mirrors up into the sky and then bounce Preston's needle dick things off. <laughs> of the mirror. That's true. And I can like, shoot darts at the mirror and yeah, then angle it. Why don't you have a laser dick? It'd be easier. See your background already. Maybe I do. Your that could be that, a that red beam. That's the yeah. crank beam. The green beam. Then you can have dick laser that's, shows. That's <laughs> the death poison. beam. That's that's the trank beam. Uh -huh. Death, sleep, death, sleep. And if it was, if the camera was lower, you would actually see it originating from his crotch. So it's <laughs> true, it just comes Where's straight it? out of there. It looks like it's coming out of my back, but it's not. Yeah, it's straight out of my dick. It's just a constant. Of... He really needs like little sunglasses for his penis, like fucking Cyclops from X Men and shit. <laughs> I can't control yeah. it. So <laughs> that's why I got kicked out of school. Yeah. <laughs> Special school for gifted penises. <laughs> no, no, for gifted members. Oh, we, got oh. Mm. we got there. Okay. <laughs> we got we got there eventually. We got there. <laughs> so we'll circle around each other and we'll eventually get everyone to the same point and then we'll get there. Uh Eric, <laughs> uh aka uh fucking Preston, what have you been doing? Uh, I have been non-stop on the phone uh, trying to uh, work Blown with up this. Sophia. <laughs> yeah, trying to just work with this fucking hacker to make right. it so that we can we can uh, get sorry, not, It's not Sophia, it's Sonia. Sorry, my bad. Sonia, that's right. Uh, I've been trying to do whatever I can to get more information on uh, our target, the fish, and then if we can get into uh, the bank of the previous job. Or it was like an insurance policy, wasn't it? Yeah, from so that, there was that, an insurance that policy is, yeah. that you wanted to you wanted to reactivate, mm -hmm. and then you wanted to go back and kill the guy so that when he dies, uh, his wife would be left with something. But then we, you also wanted to steal it as well. We something. really just wanted to empty the account so we could give her some of the money that was left over after we kind of recompensed our or recouped our our losses. Yeah. So the payout yeah, would nice. only happen in the instance of death. No, oh. we were. That's why we're hiring the hacker. We want to just fucking get it. So you want no to trace to us? Okay, and then you, what? You wanted that to sort of pay off the rest of his. Yep, pay off, pay off what he owed, and mm -hmm. then give the rest of whatever the amount was to the the, the wife. Okay. Well, uh, her fee still stands, unless you want to have a, another attempt at um, trying to seduce her away from such a high price. Um, well, that's kind of what I've been doing. I've just been right. negotiating with her like crazy. And what was her old fee? Uh, 2,000 credits. So I negotiated her down to about 850 credits. This was after Sly like dog. tons of finagling. I just like, I, just, I think I just wore her down after a while. Like she was just like, oh, shut up. Okay, fine. You called fine. her baby too many times. And so she just had here's, here's what I will <laughs> offer you. I okay. will say that you did this. However, she asked for something on top of the cost. Okay, we're Tell them that she won't be able to do it herself. Like, it'll be like a, a sort of like, you need to do this for me. A favor. Okay. Can we roll first to see if I just like fast talked roll her? Roll for favor. Or I, 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 will let, I will let you do this. Like, you won't have to roll. And, oh, oh, okay. Um... And then, if you say yes, we'll come up with a favor, like, after you deal with whatever you're doing, going to do today. And we'll, that'll come up at a later point. Like, unless you wanted to do that favor today, like, you can completely ignore this pink slip that you're currently on. I feel like we're time sensitive at this point. <laughs> with, the, with this pink slip? Yeah, because it's like, we don't know if we got another bodyguard, so it'd be cool if, like, we can get the drop on him before he gets another one. Mm-hmm. 
I mean, he's in panic mode. Like he, like we fucking broke into his house and killed someone in there and left the body. <laughs> we killed the guy. Stole some shit. Like he is, and I think he still doesn't know why. We never actually came up and talked to him about like we 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 about who we. Yeah, were. that's a good point. You never like. I'm assuming that maybe the pilot, uh, the fucking, <laughs> the bodyguard would have been like, "Oh, you're here for his organs that he hasn't paid off." I mean, sure, go at it. Like, yeah, yeah. Guys never did. It. <laughs> <laughs> Went straight to shooting a man. No, so. fuck that guy. Are you saying yeah. if we are you saying if we told the the bodyguard like, "Hey, this guy owes us money," he would be like, "All right." No, like, isn't that the that point of the bodyguard? Yeah, the bodyguard would be like, "So fucking what? Get out of here!" No, oh, if you came bang. to him with like legal bang, bang, papers bang. or whatever, there probably would have been a very good chance that he would do that. I mean, a bodyguard is there to protect against like, you know, the bad stuff that happens to a guy. Sure. So okay. you coming at him and breaking into his home, he's gonna bodyguard the shit out of that, right? Yeah, but, but also um, like, if we're saying we're gonna take the organs that you're your client needs to continue mm -hmm. living mm -hmm. and he won't be able to pay you i feel like the bodyguard would be like no you yeah, can get out of here bodyguard's job is to keep him alive we were coming in there to basically kill him no matter what yeah so, unless, unless he, he had, had that money which, yeah so far money. we've never come across a single client who has their money that's why they've defaulted yeah yeah all right Granted, this so, guy seems like he's got money he just seems like he's a piece of shit well, well you're, I mean, you're, you're here's a couple things that shit. if if you remember, you you know, he is currently going through a divorce. Mm -hmm. Um, so Let's there's a good wife. chance that his assets are all legally locked up or something like that. Oh. How's, um, I don't care. I want that money. Yeah. Want that money? No, but how's he paying the bodyguard then? We don't know. Retainer maybe. Mm. So, um, all right. Maybe yeah, yeah I mean, that's something you guys don't with know. Him right and now. the judge sentenced him to be a bodyguard. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's his uh, life partner. So, like, <laughs> what? Oh. Star Wars reference. Don't worry. He just went a totally different way with that. Yeah, you know, like, he saved his life and now he has to oh, save it's like his a, life. It's like a Wookiee life yeah. debt? Yeah, life debt. Yeah, yeah, exactly. There you go. <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right. So now that everyone's caught up um, and Sonya's. Yeah, agreed to sort of look into this instance for you. I mean, y she'll do it once you once you bring her the goods. And in this case, um, it's going to be a lot of drugs that you need to attain for her. <sighs> okay, but she's going to have to do the favor for us first, and then we're going to get to Like, I'll pay her, she's going to have to do the job, and then we're going to do the favor. Like, it can't just be all at once. Okay. Otherwise, it'd be too one-sided. I'll tell you what, uh... She'll do it, but she won't hand over the stuff for you. Like, she'll have a kill switch or whatever. Um, and she can show you the results of it, but you won't get you won't get the result until everything happens, unless you can negotiate with her now. And this is where it be where the roll comes in. Okay, yeah, let me let me roll for it. Yeah, absolutely. All right, so you, if I remember correctly, you have a resource. No, your skill is resource. So you want to use uh, fast talk. And if you get over... Uh, yours is at a 15 now? Holy fuck. That's crazy. Um, where's my fast talk? Oh, there we go. Precision and fast talk. Yep. Yeah, that's crazy. Um, hmm. I mean, like, roll, and if you if you get a one, it never happens. So, I mean, that, that's sort of what we'll look at here. Because, like, I was going to say... If you get a one, you just threw up. If I get a fucking it, one, I quit this game forever. Yeah, well, I mean, you got three runs in a row. You're pretty so good at you're, that. You're, actually, you're pretty good at getting one. Uh, so. you're the fucking you're the botch game. So give All me right. a 1d10 plus 15. 1d10 plus... It's, the DC is going to be 15, but, you know, if you get a... <laughs> All right. Damn. Damn. Suck it. You critically okay. succeeded. <laughs> yeah, I mean, uh, she'll do it for 700 credits, and... Um, then you know she'll she'll want like a, a couple of kilo uh, she'll want a kilo of white powder on top of it. Okay, and she'll give us she'll give us all the information that we want yep. before I give her the kilo. Yeah. Okay, so I'm but definitely gonna to hit up Dresden. Now. I'm definitely gonna hit up Dresden for that. But yeah, let me pay her now. Yeah. So dro just drop off seven hundred just oh, out of euro bucks, unless okay. you want to pay her out of the corp bucks. I mean, you can totally do that. No, too. no, I'll do well. Uh, I'm gonna do it out of. Also, um, can you remove sixteen hundred cold bucks? Um, okay, hold on. To pay everyone. 
Minus 1600. Yeah. Okay. And then I'll just, I'll minus the 700 out of the corp too. Actually. Yeah, I'll do that out of my personal. Okay. Okay. All right. Yeah, uh, now. Now. Um, did you two want to have a chat about uh, this debt that BTE has accrued? By the way, We're Nick, do you debt? have... Yeah, she her extra debt, you know. Oh, right, 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 right. Yeah. I think Nick, it's a weird have, debt. Can I send you a, a message over Skype? Are you going to be able to see that? Or? Mm, no, just DM me, DM me on uh, on Twitter. Um, yeah, I, I pull uh, Preston aside. Like, hey, so uh, I finally got BT to call me back. And uh, her old crew rolled through here. Apparently mm -hmm. she still owes them some money. I didn't even know about this. And uh, she's coming down here. I'm bringing bring her in back in for this job uh, with the whale that we uh, chased off accidentally. You think you could give her part of my cut? Well, I mean, that's that. What you do, feet. what you do with your money, babe, is totally up to you. I'll pay you. I'll pay you the usual rate. But yeah, if you want to give part of it to BTE, that's uh, that's your prerogative. All right, just making sure. Also, out of character, if you guys see me like randomly swatting, it's because I have a fucking fruit fly in here that is, I'm One pretty sure. Fruit fly. Hey, bro! What's going on? Fly. Spawn of Satan. I see you, motherfucker. No. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I'm like tracking him at this point. It's maddening. <laughs> okay. Uh. <clears throat> DM sent. I don't see it. <laughs> Fucking shit, man. Oop. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Okay. Um. All right. So uh, now that everything's set up and ready to go, uh, what do you guys want to do? You want to chase down this pink slip? Well, I mean, I think this is this is the the dire situation. This guy is fucking scared. He's running. He can fucking try to leave the country for all we know. Like, we got we got to track him down and, and and find him basically. Yeah. So what did what did the uh, what did Sonya say? Yeah, she's gonna do she's gonna do your um life um she's gonna turn on the uh, uh the um she's gonna do two things she's gonna turn on the um, life insurance. Then she's going yeah. to uh, in a couple of days. Activate a death for the guy in question, mm -hmm. and then she's going to get a payout of his life insurance, and then she's going to uh, put those funds directly into a, an account, and then she's going to clean it, and then she's going to take it out to cash and give it to you. Okay. Elaborate and as then fuck. isn't she isn't she also getting us information on the guy? Did you want information on this guy as well? Yeah. Yeah. That's what we I can make I that happen. Yeah, you got a ten. That's perfectly fine. Um, so, you got a, you got some new information regarding Buff H. Tinkle. Um, <laughs> Fuck, I forgot his name. Buff Tinkle. Yeah. <laughs> Buff H. Tinkle. So, you know, uh, you know that his uh, ex-wife uh, lives within the same region in a different house outside. Not, not, in, uh, not in the same uh, lock and security place. Um, so, you can assume that she's also pretty rich. Um, in terms of you know, what he's done with his funds since then. Uh, he has made another monthly payment to a security firm um, called um, uh, Steel and Sleet, mm -hmm. uh, which you assume is the same corporate division for private security that you ran into before. Um, so they're probably and, not happy that we killed one of their guys, huh? No, it was a larger sum than, than last time. And... Um, And what else? Oh, and uh, yeah, so he has, you know, had a bunch of uh, money taken out of his account as well. Um, now, if you you can piece two and two together, um, actually, she pieces it together for you and says these were the same amount of funds used um, on the dates that coalesced with when he actually went to the whorehouse. 
Um, so you can assume that he's probably, you know, visited his mistress um, again. Other than that, him in the act. Other than mm-hmm. that, um, that's all she was able to get for you. Okay. So super quick recap for everybody. Super quick. Um, it's like bullet uh, point. Yeah, buffet stinkle. Um, high income, John. Uh, he has a divorce that he's currently going through. He also has a mistress that he's paying, and. Um, he also has uh, made payments for new security guards. Okay. Whether or not they're active is a completely different story. Right. Okay, so possible new security guards. Want to see the mistress again. Um, all right. So uh, I would say I would kind of gather everybody together and I'd be like, uh, Dresden, so how'd the meeting with uh, the, I don't know what you would call the, the madam. The madam, thank you. How'd the, mm-hmm. mis- how'd the meeting with the madam go? She gonna let me back in there? <laughs> no. First and foremost, nuts. It uh, right. it, went, it, went, it went pretty good. Um, little little uh, little rocky, but I, I I managed to convince my cohorts to allow her access to their turf and stuff. So she she might cooperate. Give us some. I mean, he's been there. We like right. He's been there within the last couple of days. Yeah, yeah, Sonia did tell us that she has been there. Is there a way that we can maybe use the madam to to kind of track his schedule? Maybe find out what times of day he's there. I mean, if there's like a specific day he comes. If we can ask if we can talk to the girl that that he's been fucking. She might know something. I'm sure he's told her something. All right, make it happen. And hey, uh, Sheldon, does does that thing have recording capabilities on it by chance? And I kind of point at Bandit, like, I'm just like, that thing. That thing that is smarter than you on social and uh, intelligence levels that could do math problems and also probably pick up five times the girls that you could, because I programmed it that way, also has breasts, so wish you had breasts, bet you do at night, stay up at late, and wish you had breasts all day. (laughs) I'm already just, like, looking at my phone, like, "Uh uh-huh, yeah, Mm -hmm." (laughs) mm-hmm. Yes! Okay, all right, wonderful, I put my phone away. Um... So, what we may want to do, and tell me if I'm crazy here, maybe crazy. we can use that thing. Let me finish, babe. We can use that thing <laughs> to maybe set up a little bit of a trap ski here. We've already got the pictures. Let's use this as our insurance just in case he brings another one of those uh, ghastly men. God. I just kind of like, I just kind of like look at him for a second. Did you say ghastly? What you, I, I went to the I went to the Night City Opera last night. It just it, it's fine. I'm trying to see if it'll work. In it, it's fine. Okay, it didn't work. Next, it was scratching off the list. Okay. Uh, anyway, what do you, what do you guys think? Should we get this operation rolling? Absolutely. I'm tired of sitting on my ass not doing anything. Begging my dumb friend to fucking forgive me. It's stupid. <laughs> Sheldon, you good to go, babe? All right, I'll take that as a yes. Sounds the great. Mo- the moment you say, my dumb friend, it's stupid, in walks uh, BTE. <laughs> yeah, my it's dumb tiny. friend, Justin, fucking piece of shit. <laughs> he owes me like 50 bucks. Oh, hey, BTE. Hey, nice so, uh, we good? We good? He looks at you, Dresden. I'm good. No, I mean, uh, uh, are we good with the thing we talked about? Yeah, no, we're good. We're good. Oh, great. Fantastic. Absolutely love it. Let's go fucking, I don't know, destroy some lives or something for money. What she said. All right. Um, so I guess I'll, I'll walk away with Sheldon to kind of figure out the whole recording situation. And then, Nick, I guess you'll talk to the madam, huh? So what, what are you re- trying to record here? Uh, just like try to get it so that if we do get access to this room, we can kind of set up like maybe like the snake cam or something, or or Weldon can figure out like a cool situation that we can like record what's going on to use as like blackmail in case he's like, no one will ever believe you. Okay. Or just to like tell the 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 like record the the PMC guy, and to be like, hey, if you kill us, it will all be on tape right now. 
Okay. All right. Um, sure. <laughs> Just trying to think of like how how that would be used. I mean, like. Okay. Uh, I mean, like ops. Like immediately and just be like, this was a murder if you kill us and like we have all of your faces and you'll be charged with murder. Yeah. But basically yeah. trying to avoid another fight with a Terminator is what I'm going for. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, uh, the only thing I can say is make sure you have your paperwork. Um, for what you're attempting to do in the court that you're with. Oh, you know. oh, yeah. Well, I have yeah. my briefcase. Cool. <laughs> all right. Uh, so, um, okay, so, yeah, where do you guys want to go? Like, where's your first stop? I'm going over to the brothel again to talk to the madam. All right, let's go to the, the brothel. So, as you guys remember, it was an office office sort of thing. It's not really It's like brothel, a mega corporation. Like, yeah, well, it's, it's more like a small little thing. It's a startup almost size. Um, but they have a lot of... That basically it's used for like more uh, like sort of monitoring the girls and making sure they're safe and uh, making sure that uh, you know the counting goes through correctly and all that sort of stuff mm. um, so there's no actual like sex going on in the in the in the facility um, so yeah uh, again you get the guy at the front he he, he notices you again tells you to take off your entire hand and um, you know Put your pieces into a bucket and that slide into the wall. Um, <clears throat> so you, you go through the motions again. You get brought in, and uh, does anyone remember the madam's name? Because I don't actually have that written down. I, like Mad I'm thinking, we wrote it down. I'm pretty sure we wrote all this Madame shit down. Madam Bovary. Bovary. All I have is Jacob, porn dude, squirrely and easily. Yeah, that's shaken. what I mean. Like I'm pretty sure we wrote all this stuff down on your character sheets. Oh yeah, I just don't know where. But it just didn't save for some reason. Yeah, so, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm seeing a lot of shit that's not. Uh, it's warm. fine. Just make it up. Yeah. Um, so, so Madame Bovary. Madame Bovary. Um, yeah. You, you. She invites you into the room. You sit down again. She pours you a glass of whiskey if you'd like it. Oh, thanks. Good mm. to see you again. You look uh, lovely, as usual. Thank you. Yeah. How's everything working out with the uh, their little <laughs> deal? Are you satisfied? Or are you? you well, headway. <laughs> They are a bunch of men. This doesn't sound like a girl, they're a Dave. Of, they're a bunch of idiots. They're, I, I, I will absolutely attest to that. They're complete and utter idiots, but, you know. Fine. I will put a more womanly voice on for you, Eric. <laughs> this, is, this is Dave's favorite part, by the way. Lol. Uh, Wait, no, it was Madame Badonkadonk, wasn't it? Madame Badonkadonk. No, it was not actually Madame Badonkadonk. I've seen several people in the chat say Madame Badonkadonk. I feel talk. like they just want it to be Madame Badonkadonk. <laughs> They're all just like, if we convince them, it's Badonkadonk. Mm -hmm. Someone go watch the VOD really quickly. Uh, so it was the Black Queens that you set him up with, if I remember correctly. <laughs> and you had a, a contact there called Jarmathy. Good old Jarmathy. Mm -hmm. yeah, I right. feel like you really like J names. Jamantha, Jarmanthy. <laughs> it's really easy to come up with fake names that start with J. I don't it know what really it is. It really is, apparently. Yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, I was the one who called it Badonkadonk. All right. Well, I no guess it's. A. Well, we'll go with Madame Bovary because that sounds better. Sorry, guys. You're fucked. Um, yeah, people really just watch the, the, the episode. Apparently, it was Badonkadonk. All right, Madam. God damn it! <laughs> I guess it's Badonkadonk then. All right, Madam Badonkadonk. Jesus. Yeah. Christ. It's it's uh it's. Because we're not uh, taking this role playing seriously. If you it's French. For, for it's serious French. actual means, role playing. It means wilting flower style. in French. So. Um. <laughs> Should it be like Boo Donkadonk? Like French? Like B E A U? It's yeah. Bo yeah. Donkadonk. Bo Donkadonk. <laughs> Yep. Um, so, <laughs> so she sits down and she's like, "Yes." Oh, it's like Madame Donkadonk's fine pussy emporium. <laughs> <laughs> For all your pussy and pussy related needs. They <laughs> <laughs> just sound like a burnt out car yeah, salesman. Like, I've said this slogan so want, many times. Do you want Asian? We've you can only got it. you can only stay you excited about girls? pussy for so long. We've got it. <laughs> I like I've been talking about pussy, pussy for 35 pussy years. Emporiums. I like Madame Badonkadonk's Pussy Emporium so much I bought the company. <laughs> listen, listen to our excited customers. 
Madam Dragon Dog is a about title about passed the donkey down donkey like donkey. the Dread Pirate Roberts from Princess <laughs> Bride. I am now. <laughs> Madam. <laughs> <laughs> prices, five percent off, twenty percent off. Oh, we're crazy. Come on down, Madam Badonka Dog. We'll see related items away. <laughs> off Route Eight. <laughs> okay. Off Route Eight, down on Fifth Street. That was for just aliens. Talk, you just talk really fast. Off. <laughs> Bring in coupon Puss Pie for thirty percent off your order. We have new and used pussy. <laughs> <laughs> and then you just need a whole bunch of like pill commercial <laughs> shit after it. Like, yeah. Side effects button, may include right? syphilis. Yeah. <laughs> the clap. If your head bursts into flames after visiting Madame Badonkadonks, it cannot be put out with <laughs> conventional Multiple stab herpes. wounds. <laughs> All right. So uh, she sits down. She's like, yes, the, uh, the Black Queen's small enough for our needs, I suppose. I mean, anything larger in them. Probably expects the world from us, so I thank you for the uh, the input. Yeah, no problem, no problem. So, uh, I uh, that 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 guy we talked to you about last time, he's been mm. back here, right? He might have. I mean, our girls go out all the time. He's got one. Does he have one particular girl who likes to who likes to st sleep with? bed with, whatever you want to call it. Whatever so she'll, she'll walk over to a filing cabinet and she'll like pull up the, the drawer and she'll bring out like a, a, a big sort of like really old black leather bound book and she go, you know in this, no, I wish it was. <laughs> uh, she'll, uh, she'll so, so, sort of look it over and she goes, I tend to find that uh, paper is a lot better than having things on file, mostly so that inquisitive hackers can't get their way with us. She like, she like slowly lists through the paper. Uh, what was his name again? Ah, oh, shit. Buff Tinkle. Buff H. Tinkle. Is that That's his, his real, real name? name? It's his real name. I don't know where he got it from. His parents <laughs> must be fucking stoners. Huh. <laughs> she, like, she, like, she like looks through the pages again and she's like, Normally, our clients pay in cash, so it's definitely not in here under that name. You know, if you have something that can help us identify the man, maybe, or at Show least the, the girl he was with. Oh, yeah. I pull out the sexy pictures. And she's like, oh, oh, this is Clara. Yeah, she's uh, she's a pegging master. Yeah. What's a pegging master? It's... Honey. It's when a man <laughs> pays a woman to fuck him in the ass. This, just is, goes... news, this is news to me, alright? I'm, I'm I, you know, I'm still exploring my kink myself, so... I'm, you just know, I'm goes, just like... honey. <laughs> honey. That's <laughs> <laughs> oh shit! Uh, no, I this like, is. I like, just like look away and just kind of like jot that down real quick. <laughs> and, this and is like she, pegging master. All of uh, a sudden, somewhere in the other, like outside, my ears perk up. Yeah. So uh, she she like she like pulls out a phone. Uh, pegging, pull, like she pegging has, like, master senses tingling. Yeah. <laughs> the prostate's just like whoo. Uh, so she has, like one of those old like buzzers. Like her, like the office for the most part seems really old school, right? So she hits a buzzer, and then like a, a lady uh, with the blonde ponytail and the glasses and the um, you know, the old office corporate suit comes in. And she's like, "Uh, be a dear and grab me Clara, please." And she she just nods and skirts out. <laughs> Jesus Christ, Jack. Nervously, um, I just like sip my my whiskey. Yeah, you're just, um, you're just like nervously. I like, how like, I, just, oh. I like how I just pantomime that when I have actual fucking whiskey right here. <laughs> God damn it! The worst role player ever. What the fuck? Uh, so she 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 looks over at you, um, Dresden. She's like, "Do you have a kink?" Mm, I, I mean, you go first. <laughs> I imagine you've got wow, plenty. The shittiest 
<laughs> wow. Listen. In the, in you go first. You go first. Just like ham fisting it on the table. You first. <laughs> in the efforts of being a little more transparent here, I was wondering if there's any business that we can do as adults. Maybe I have a girl that will meet what you need. Uh, oh, oh, um, yeah, I'm not really on the market. Come on, everyone has something. Yeah, yeah, I had something. She, uh, she died. Oh, you're, mm, you're one of those. <laughs> I... <laughs> well... <laughs> I have to try to play my character here and he just <laughs> fucking throws that in my face. I'm dying. Ugh. She just I, lightly I called him a necrophiliac. Wow. Uh. No. Uh. Let's be clear, she wasn't doing that. Let me let me continue. <laughs> she that is like exactly what it sounded like. I was well, like... I'm glad you thought that way, but that's not the case. Uh, uh, it's unfortunate. Uh, I understand, though. Grieving is... Uh, long process sometimes if you ever feel like you're ready to take the next step i mean i can make it worth your while once you i just put come the back guy in the ground that killed her i might be ready hmm. oh, shit. and then um clara comes into the room she's she's basically wearing like a like a jumpsuit, like a something you would do, do exercise in sort of thing but it's like it's really like if you walked into like the back of like a whorehouse and all the girls were wearing normal clothes, it's kind of like that. You sort of like expecting something really nice, but she just walks in wearing like basically running clothes for the most part. And she's like, uh, "Hey, what what do you need?" And uh, the madam's like, uh, "Dear, this is uh, Dresden Wrecker." He has a few questions about one of your clients. And uh, Clara looks like really confused at this. And, uh, and, you know, the madam sees the look on her face and she's like, oh, it's okay. This one's fine. And she sort of nods and she sits down next to you in the chair uh, opposite. And she's like, um, uh, so who are you looking for? Um, buff. Tinkle? No, uh, do you have a picture? Huh. I'm just gonna like slide over the picture of her and him doing whatever the fuck it is that they do together. It's just, she, she holds it like this and then she, you know, and then she like tilts it. And then she tilts it back up and she's like, yeah, I remember this one. He, uh, it's a little clingy. Hmm. What do you want to know? Well, uh, he, uh, he owes a lot of money. And we're just trying to track him down. Uh, we, we, we found out where he lives, but he knows we're onto him. So we know he came here within the last couple days. And, uh, just any information you can give us about what he might be up to, he's definitely in, he's a flight risk. You know, we're just trying to track him down and get this money. Uh, and hopefully not have to kill him so he can keep coming here and paying you guys. She like uh like gives a side glance to the madam and the madam just sort of nods and she's like Well uh after sex um he cries about his uh divorce <laughs> um which is unusual. I mean it doesn't last that long in most cases, so <laughs> I spend a lot of time like Consoling him. It's actually kind of sad, really. Um, uh, he's going through a divorce. Yeah, we know. We know all about that. Yeah. Um, I mean, he talks about her a lot. Like, an awful lot. Says that if, if she wasn't so... I guess, unfaithful, they would still be together. Which is kind of ironic, considering that, you know, he's been seeing me for almost two years now. Jesus Christ. Yeah. 
So, uh, I mean, I guess maybe see if you can talk to her. I mean, maybe she'll know more. I mean, her name is uh, Rebecca. I mean, she's and still assuming, go by her surname or or Tinkle or what? I assume that she'd still go by Tinkle, but I mean, women these days, you know, they might be independent enough to have their own last name still. Sorry, I couldn't be more help. I mean, I mean, unless you're into pegging. Uh, <laughs> I just <gasps> heard of it like ten, five minutes ago. Oh. Oh. Who knows? Maybe you'll like it. Give us a thought. I mean, okay. apparently I've just lost a client, so. <laughs> uh, okay. Thank you. Seriously, thank you so much for your help. Um, yeah. Do you? Uh, when did he come in to uh, meet with you last? If you don't want me asking. Uh, I went out to a hotel. Actually, if I should just give you that address, that might be a good idea. Is it a regular spot you guys use, or? Yeah, I mean, it look it's like not... he was staying there for a while, or? Not any more than he normally would. I mean, there's, he always has that security guard who was a different guy this time, so maybe the other guy's sick or something. Um, dead, dead sick, yeah. <laughs> dead sick, he said. <laughs> oh, well, <laughs> I, 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 I hope he gets all right, because he was always nice to me, that one. Mm -mm. I sit there and I just go... <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, yeah. Uh, and, uh, but, um, I mean, if you're looking for him, maybe we can wait for him to come to me again. I mean, that might. I, I, I don't know how the spy stuff works, you know? <laughs> spy stuff, yeah. I wish we were that organized. Um, that, honestly, probably will be our best bet. I. I I doubt his wife is going to want to help us when we're pretty much asking for her money to be paid back. Uh, so, yeah, let me, let me give you my, my number, and um, we'll promise, we promise we're not going to make this uncomfortable for you or awkward, or you're not going to get in trouble. You're not going to be fucking hurt or anything. You're, you guys are a number one priority to keep safe right here. I like you guys, even though that pegging thing's kind of weird. And... Uh, <laughs> Different folks. So you guys, different you guys gotta folks. have a solid operation here, <laughs> honestly. So yeah, next time he contacts you, if you could let us know where he's meeting you, and uh, basically just you, you don't even have to show up. We'll just pay for the time that you would have spent with him. Wait, what's your rate? Hold on, before I make promises, what's your rate? <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's, it's what's your price for not credits. showing up to one of these things? It's about eight hundred credits an hour. Woo! All right. Let's 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 pretend that he he's finished in ten minutes and we'll we'll, we'll call it. <laughs> Start. It's a uh, minu minimum of one hour. All right. Honey, says the mada uh, madam. Madam. <laughs> All right. All right. Yeah. We can we can work that out. We can work that out for sure. Okay. Uh. Well, I gotta go. Peg some dude. Yeah. No. I know. This is this is. Mm. You guys are tight operation. Like I said. I just like I just like, yeah. finished my drink and that was probably I do a like a really awkward like bow. Is. Yeah, <laughs> you bow. I just like... it was like because she didn't like to shake hands from what I recall. Yeah. So I just, I'm just... yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, she piece, she piece sort of gives you a out. curt nod. Yeah, um, <laughs> nod. Yeah. All right, that's break number one. Yeah. Oh yeah, been doing for an hour. That's a good break.